So this is Joe Ucello from Low Limit Football. Just got finished watching uh, Chievo versus Juventus with a 2-0 victory for Juventus in this one. Uh, goals by Gonzalo Higuain uh, and Sammy Kadira, both in the second half after two red cards uh, from Chievo Playos. First one uh, in the first half, and I forget the gentleman's name, but um, really a stupid, stupid second yellow card. Uh, just a minute after the first yellow card, sent Chievo down to 10 men. Then uh, in the second half, we saw um, second player get red carded, uh, making a gesture at the referee like he was being imprisoned, like he had handcuffs on, um, quite cynical. And in the end, the referee did not appreciate it and went down to nine men. Um, you know, good and bad here. Uh, good for Juve to get the win. Keep pace with Napoli. Napoli uh, now have a chance tomorrow to uh, go back atop the Serie A table, which is looking much more like a two-team race. Um, but Juve there for now, uh, two points clear at the moment. Uh, so we could see, uh, you know, as long as they hold serve against, I believe it's Bologna tomorrow, um, they'll have to hold serve to uh, to really keep this uh, race nice and tight, which I think will be till the end of the season, unfortunately for Juventus and Napoli fans. Uh, this one's going to become a nail-biter all the way through. So, um, you know, the good and the bad, obviously the good is Gonzalo Higuain gets off his seven-game, uh, seven-match scoreless streak uh, to break that, uh, albeit against a nine-man side, which left him quite wide open at the top of the six-yard box uh, for that uh, header for the second goal. The uh, I, I like the play out of Bernardeschi. I like the play out of uh, Douglas Costa. Um, nice to see that they can step in, especially with the miss, uh, missing Juan Cuadrado due to injury. Um, well, like Chesney really was not tested at all. Um, and really has not been tested since he's taken over for Gigi Buffon. Um, so that, that bodes well. I would, as a Juventus fan, I want to see, um, I want to see uh, uh, Daniele Rugani get into these matches a little bit more frequently. I do like the fact they tried to get Betancourt on a little sooner, um, but obviously the run of play when, when Juve has possession up two men, they're, they're not going to give that possession up. And, uh, and it really took uh, something special just to get Betancourt back in for the last minute of the match. Um, but I'd like to see Rugani used a little bit more. I'm, I'm much higher on Rugani than some fans, but I think he can uh, do a much better job, um, you know, as long as he's given the opportunity to grow because Barzali's not getting any younger, Chiellini's not getting any younger. Obviously, they've lost Bonucci. Benatia has been um, magnificent uh, since uh, stepping into this starting role for them, and I think that's going to serve him well both for Morocco in the World Cup and moving forward for Juventus. Um, obviously, Dybala missing in this match was noted as they did have much more difficulty breaking down this cable side, um, who backed in a bus that would make Jose Mourinho proud. But in the end, uh, when you're down two men, it's just not something that uh, Juve is going to give up. So, um, you know, shout out to Stell and, and, and the folks over at Shoot the Defense. Uh, thanks for taking this video. Um, uh, happy to do it. And uh, now time for me to go on vacation for a week, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.